Hey guys, I was talking to a client tonight who has a family member going through some intense cancer treatment and they said, when the time is right, I'd love to get this family member involved in some strength training to help rebuild some strength, regain some function. I said, that's a great idea. We know that cancer survivors do better when they're physically active. We also know that many of the treatments, whether it's chemotherapy, radiation therapy, lead to significant body wasting, so there's loss of muscle, that leads to, of course, more fatigue, less likelihood that someone will be active. So strength training after cancer treatment can be a great way to restore that vital active lifestyle that is linked to higher quality of life for cancer survivors. If you want to live well after cancer, you've got to be active. So there's no better way than to add in an evidence-based strength workout to actually achieve that. So remember, this is good news. There's never a time, even after receiving chemotherapy or radiation therapy, there's never a time when your muscles don't respond to productive evidence-based strength training. You can always get stronger. You can always build muscle. And of all people, those who would likely benefit the most would be those who've had body wasting like the wasting we see with cancer treatment. So good news if you're receiving cancer, if you know someone who's actually getting cancer treatment, post-treatment after medical clearance is a great time to integrate some strength training as a way of getting stronger so those folks can be active, vital, independent, and strong and live well after the cancer. This is day 344 of Train Like a Champion.